Hello, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to my class, everyone. How are you today? So, teacher put is back. This is your lesson number one for MCO 3.0. You are still in module four. Topic celebration. This is the table of contents. There are four parts in my presentation. There are number one, look and read. Number two, read the story. Number three, fill in the blanks. And number four, identify true or false. Okay, look at the picture and repeat after me. Fishing road. Fishing road. Maksud dia, apa ni fishing road? Kita guna untuk meman, memancing. For fishing. Okay, ni benang dia ni kita panggil line. Okay, line. Next. Pool. Pool. Maksud dia, Tari, okay, tari pull. Next, think, think. I think English is fun. Think. So dia, fikir, okay, fikir, think. Wool, wool. What is wool? Ini daripada kambing biri biri. Apa pakaian yang diperbuat daripada wool? Selalunya pakaian musim sejuk, okay? Ha. Sweater, okay? Socks. Alright, next. Okay, this part is reading. You have to take out your textbook. Refer page 46 and read the story. Okay, you can pause this video and take out your textbook. Read first. Okay, once you have finished reading, so look at this exercise. You have to fill in the blanks with the correct words. You can refer to the story again and start filling the blanks. After finish the first part, okay, look at the bottom. You have to tick the best title for the story above. What is the best title for the story? Okay, you have to choose one only. Alright. Next exercise is... You have to read again and put the pictures in the correct order. You have to put numbers. In the boxes. Okay. There are four pictures. A, B, C and D. You have to put the number. Okay. According to the correct sequence. And then you have to identify. True or false. You have to read the statement. And write T for true and F for false. Okay, down here, you have to complete the sentences to show the cost. The cost. Maksud dia, sebab apa. Okay, next, on your right hand side, choose the best summary of the extract from the wishing fish. Okay, you have to identify which is the best summary. Summary tu maksud dia rumusan. Ataupun ringkasan terhadap cerita yang panjang tadi. Ha? Ok, 
Okay, that's all for today. Don't forget to cut and paste properly in your E1. And thank you for watching my video and have fun in learning English. So don't forget to stay at home and stay safe everyone. So see you next time. Bye.